Well, hello, Merlins and Serlins. I'm the F-Bomb here in Nick Browing, and today, it is another mail time. I'm going to have to, uh, figure out a song I think that's appropriate. And this will be, the, I'm testing something here in this video. We'll see if it works or not. But if you don't know what mail time is, I go through my two inboxes, one for the Xbox, another for YouTube, and I comment, I talk about, or I rag on the comments. So here is our first one from Supris 386 from our Counter-Strike Source video from a Death Run server. It says, you speak German? Or he's asking me if I speak German, and can he add me on Steam? I do not speak German. I don't know where I came from. I spoke German. I would like to. I have German in me, but I do not speak German. Everything's slow today. Me, the computer. I have a doing things. Thanks for watching my poop. I don't know why he thinks I speak German. Um, God. Recording, recording this with my headset and this mask and the Merlin and the Serlin. Uh, let's see if I could. Let's see if I can do this. Maybe I could just do it like this. Huh? I don't speak German. There we go. There's that. I need a better mic on. I can't read in here. I'm getting sick. If anyone care, if any of you care, I'm sick. I'm getting sick. I got sick off of some kindergartners, preschoolers. So here's a comment from Eagle Hawk on my video Warframe Founder Set versus Starter Set. And he's asking if the, the Founder Set is a lifetime account. Now this game's free to play. It has no lifetime account. So I have no idea what he means. <laughs> That's, that makes no sense. Like, there are games that do stuff where if you have a subscription, you get stuff. This game has no subscription service. So, there's no lifetime account. Oh god. Probably shouldn't have had a, had a comma in there, but okay. yeah, like other games like Star Trek Line or The Old Republic or you know other games like that, you can get stuff if you're subscribed, which means you pay your weekly or monthly or yearly thing. And some games like Star Trek Online let you do a lifetime thing where you pay like a lot of money, and in the in the overall, it's much cheaper to just pay for that. Um, but that game has no subscription fees. It doesn't have anything like that. It's just free, completely. It's a very nice game. I paid money into it because it, it, it's fun. I like it, and I wanted to support it. So here's a video. Uh, here's a comment from David Cariello saying, "Whoa, great video, dude! I'm surprised it's popular. I made this uh, video while ago. It's gotten comments on here a few times. Big vibe for Republic Commando, and it's a big pain in the ass for me to make." I should see what the view feed is on this. I really should make more of this. I only made one, and I uninstalled the game, which means I'd have to reinstall it. So thank you. Thanks, David. Stuff like that really does make me feel better. Wow, it's got 21 likes. What the hell did I do? Has it had this many? I know Star Wars ones are particularly popular. This kid commented to me a while ago. I meant to tell him you're, he, that he's right. said something like 313th, he's like 12th, and you know what, he is correct. So here is a comment on a video I made, blah, blah, blah. And here's a comment to a comment I made on a video. Uh, we'll just go to my comment. Uh, basically, this is Warframe, again, uh, I seem to have a lot of this going around in my channel, or at least uh, talkative on here. I wrote Way to Pick a Shit Frame. I had problems with the Necro Warframe a while ago, where because basically when they did it, they um the person who's like there was this whole big thing 
where they asked us, hey, what kind of frames do you want? Let's get a vote starting. One of the popular ones is like, hey, you know what's a good idea? Let's steal stuff off of Mass Effect. Let's just go, and we'll use, like, I don't know. They took a picture. If you played Mass Effect 3, uh, they've taken a picture of the husks, and they're like, let's do this in the game. Let's do this. It's a good idea. And that really pissed me off, because it really was just a rip-off of that whole uh, of the uh, collector's minions. Because I know now they added the collectors. I don't know what those things are called. So basically, if you haven't played Mass Effect, it's it's a species that just like takes other species and then like pu puts them into their collective. But it uses their like, dead, zombified versions of their bodies. And this one just used a, hu a husk. It was just like a person vault. I might be able to pull up a picture, actually. So I was pissed because it wasn't a creative idea, and they didn't have uh, a lot of creative ideas. Am I spelling this wrong? Yeah, yeah, but that's okay. And they didn't have a lot of creative ideas going around the voting system, and that one was like one of the most popular, and it won, and it was really shitty, and I was pissed off. Does that exact? No, uh, I don't know if it's the exact image, but that's a husk. I think I think that's an older image, actually. Because I think the husk is now. But you get the idea. So, now, if you... Now, the Necro did come out, which I'm pissed off about. And it looks exactly... The idea is bad. I didn't think the idea fit with the game so much. Because it's sci-fi, now you're bringing this weird fantasy element. I mean, they didn't explain that it used nanobodies or anything. Nanobots, it's just like... Whatever. So now, the, here's a Geth. Here's a specific one, Legion, from Mass Effect 3. That's what a Geth looks like, right? The, the Necro Warframe looks like a Geth. This is a long explanation for one comment. That seems to be the theme. We have one comment that has a big... Yeah, here's a picture. I can't really see with this. This is going to be an issue in the future. I can tell. And this microphone thing, I can't hold it. Oh, Jesus Christ, well... Uh, can we get a bigger one? Let's just hit the images. I don't think these are big enough. I can't see the resolution because I have five things running at the same time. Well, I mean, you can look it up. But pretty much, uh, Necro is like a triangular shaped geth. And I don't like it. I'm disappointed. So I wrote, on this video, we pick a shit frame because of all the crap that happened with the Necro. They, find, they still put it in. You know, it's garbage. This guy's, this guy... Sajin Kunarmu, best guy, <laughs> he said, go back to sucking on Nova's teeth. Nova is the last one that came out. It was the antimatter frame, and way back, you can find videos. Um, the voting was between a few. It was between, like, oh, God. They were, uh, it was, like, between five frames that they made up. And it was all shit. It was all creme de la crap. That's what I said in my video, I think. None of them were good. I voted for Antimatter, which became Nova, because that was the best out of the worst. <laughs> there was no... There was there was nothing good about any of the ones that, that came out. They were just all bad. Um, so that's what I'm going to write. I felt worse drawn, didn't I? And all the new frames are really... I'm calling them frames. Your characters you play as are Warframes, if you don't know the game. And all of them really do suck. I mean, they really haven't given us a good thing... Uh, excuse me, for a long time. Here's something from Buddier Ice... Butter Ice Cream... <laughs> Saying toys, really, on a video about my Clone Wars 2003 cartoon toys. I get toys still. I'm 21, and I get toys. I've been getting toys my whole life. I like collecting toys. This mask is a toy for me. Um, the, you know, computer, uh, computers, cameras, it's all toys. So I like getting stupid, silly stuff. These are old. I have, I've had these for a while in this video. Even though I made this video just this, just this April, I've had them in my room for a while. I actually had to dust them off. So I like toys. And I was looking around at toys, at these toys in particular, and I found out they're worth a lot of money in the box, of course. Now I play with my toys. So that's... I just videotaped them for whatever reason. Jesus Christ. Oh.
this is I can't believe this video is still getting stuff. Here's one from the Vagina Muffin. <laughs> And it's a comment on my Star Trek Online Aquarius Bridge. Star Trek Online is a game. This is one of your ship bridges. It's the best one in the game for the humans, uh, for, for Starfleet. And it says, I hate how in Star Trek Online, everything inside the ship pretty much stays the same. The bridge might be different, but everything else is exactly the same. Ready room, crew deck, engineering. It's getting so repetitive. Star Trek Online has been that for, like that for a while, so it wasn't a free-play game. You had to buy it, and then you get to play it. Uh, Cryptic Studios had it for a little bit. It was their game, and then they got bought out by Perfect World. Uh, Perfect World's been adding stuff. Cryptic Studios was adding stuff, but then they, uh... But then they, you know, they got bought out. Um, basically, Star Trek Online has a lot of potential. It, now, I love the game. It's I think it's really good the way it is, but it's not perfect. You know, you keep adding stuff to it. So, but... Like, Star Trek, like, the bridges for the ships, we didn't have those. We didn't have those for a long time. People complained, complained, and complained, and then we have them. And there's a bunch that you can get. Now, you have to buy for buy them. Um, you, there are default ones, but if you want really good-looking ones, or just different-looking ones, you have to pay for them. And I'm fine with that, because they actually put them in the game. They listened. So, this has been an issue, yeah. Everything's the same. It doesn't matter, like, what kind of ship you're in. The Aquarius Bridge, it's the most significantly different looking bridge and everything else looks like every other ship so yeah everything's the same what the fuck was that something exploded outside like a pop everything's the same but we need to com we need to ask for it so if we look at them Can't see. Bridges weren't in the game. There was a lot in the game in the in the game now that wasn't in the game when it first came out. I actually know because I've been playing the game since it came out. It's big changes. <sighs> This is probably, like, one of my more popular videos. I guess, like, tons of comments a day. This one just... This person, Fruity Ninja, just wrote the same. So thanks for the useful comments. These videos have... This, these are... <laughs> I really don't have videos that have huge discussions on them. Like, this one and the Halo 4 video have discussions. Like, people are talking to each other. These comments aren't to me. They're to like everyone else. It's pretty interesting. And here's one from my last week's mail time. From my friend Josh. Or X Patterson X. I watch his stuff. I think he's funny. I watch his stuff all the time. He wrote, I tried to scroll up when you scrolled down in the video. That is brilliant. Oh, my nose is itchy. It's brilliant, Josh. He's a genius. And this will load. I'll respond to him. But I'll respond to him. I'm going to write something like brilliant. Or, I think I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going to write brilliant. Okay, so that's it for mail time this week. Um, if you'd enjoy this, you can like. I doubt anyone would favorite it. Um, if you've been able to see my face, because I've been trying to record my webcam at the same time, there may be more of that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. If you don't know what this is, I'm shaking my head a second. Right now it's around my chin. Um, so yeah, like. That makes me feel better. Favorite if you found it funny. Um, you know, comment, yell at me for more videos, uh, to, for me to do stuff. Right now I'm trying to focus on clearing out my hard drive so I could record more of two games in particular. This is kind of screwing me up, and I need to read stuff for my class soon. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I'm the F-Bomb here in Nick Bro Inc. Oh god, that's stinky.